This is what it's like to cook with me. I sing a lot, I curse a lot, I'm covered in burns. Okay, why this pasta? I need a drink, hold on. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm gonna try Gigi Hadid's viral pasta that you're seeing everywhere. I wanna see if it's as good as everyone's saying that it is. Do you like try viral recipes? Is that a thing you enjoy personally? Um, it's, enjoy is interesting. I'm a little bit competitive, but I, I set myself up for failure from the beginning, usually because I don't follow the instructions. And I just end up halfway through doing whatever I want, and then we get to the end, and it doesn't look anything like what the original video looked like, and I wonder why. I'm gonna try to follow the instructions for this one. I can't promise you that I'm gonna do that, though. So it's an Instagram story. She uses tomato paste. I'm a terrible Italian, and I don't like tomatoes. I know. I'm gonna use them anyway, because otherwise it's just <laughs> pasta covered in vodka. Are there? Are you also someone that doesn't like tomatoes? Please make me feel less alone. Something I do know, though, I'm pausing, is a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese is not enough cheese. I think enough cheese is the entire container of cheese. It doesn't look too hard. I think I can do it. How do you mess up pasta, right? Hopefully we don't find out. <laughs> Olive oil, garlic, and onion. So you're supposed to chop this, but I'm lazy and I don't want to, and I don't, any chance I can minimize to cut myself, I will do. It's one fourth cup of oil. Because, don't you add it all at the same time? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a social media manager. And also it's pasta. Turning it on. I don't know how finely to chop this. Oh, my eyes. Oh, uh, I didn't wear waterproof mascara. I didn't think I needed that to cook pasta. Jeez. Get that in there. And now it's time to add the tomato paste. Like I said, I already don't like tomatoes. It kind of creeps me out that tomato paste is in a tube. Add until it appears dark in color or caramelized. Can you caramelize a paste? I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking for. I'm just a girl on a mission to eat some pasta at 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna hold true to my original statement of you can't mess up pasta. I really don't think that you can. Add in heavy cream, add in vodka, and cook through until evaporated. How do you know that your vodka is evaporated? I'm sure it'll be obvious. Mm, mm, seems like a lot. I'm sure that's fine. Say it with me, everybody. You can't mess up pasta. We're gonna add a tablespoon of vodka. She adds red pepper flakes in her recipe. I love red pepper flakes. I think that's the most unique part of this recipe, and so I wanted to amplify it a bit. So instead, I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's hot pepper sauce. It's fermented crushed Calabrian chili peppers. It's like, it stings a little, in a good way, if that makes sense. If you like, and now my nose is running. So it's definitely spicy. Because I know myself, and I'm gonna add a lot of cheese. And because there's gonna be butter and there's already heavy cream in here, I think I'm going to add a fair amount. Is this a mistake? Because you just watched me choke on it? Most definitely. I'm gonna add this much. I may regret this. But it's done. Hi, I'm Brooke. I'm the social media manager at The Spruce Seeds, and today I'm gonna ruin Gigi Hadid's viral pasta. My nose is still running from the spice. Stir until combined, season with salt and pepper. Ow! You see, it's just, it just burned me. Ouch. Okay, we'll turn the heat down. This is good. A little bit of salt. Another place I overdo it. Cheese, butter, salt. Now we're gonna try and taste it with the salt. Wow, that actually changed it a lot. It made everything, all the flavors meld together better. She uses orecchiette, or in Jersey, we'd probably just pronounce it orecchiette. So when pasta is done, save one fourth of pasta water before draining. I gotta remember to do that. How do I know that I've saved one fourth of a pot that has no measurements on it though? What you wanna do for it is when you strain it, strain it over a bowl, so the pasta water goes in a bowl. That's smart. I probably would not have done that. There was no measurement on salt for pasta because they assume everyone knows how to do this, which is fair. I should. I've been feeding myself by myself for quite some time. So we're gonna pour it in. Try not to burn. Ow, we're already burning me. Again, always burning myself. And that's it, we'll come back when it's cooked. That's Corey, he lives on the floor. He's a butterfly betta fish. And I've had him since Easter, which at this point is a month. And he finally started eating, so I have faith that he will live. I talk to him all the time. We sing together, and by sing together, I mean I sing karaoke in his general vicinity, and he 
doesn't love it. He's very anxious. Find him very relatable because I'm anxious too. He's my little friend. He's my coworker. I say good morning. I say good night. Whenever I'm leaving, I'm like, Corey, I'll be back. Or I come back and I'm like, Corey, you won't believe what I saw. Or somebody annoys me at work and I'm like, Corey, can you believe that shit? And he doesn't say anything. I just feel better. Anyway, back to the pasta. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was a delayed beep. That sort of ruined it for me. Ow. Oh, I'm getting like a steam facial from this. <laughs> Put this back on heat. We're back, we're back with the sauce. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. I love butter. It makes everything better. Say that 10 times fast. I'm gonna bring it down just a little. I turned it up a little bit higher than medium just to, okay. Ow, why does it keep doing that? Add pasta and pasta water. Oh, so I guess you go pasta first. Ah, what? All right, okay, All right, we're adding the pasta, okay? My God, it's so impatient. Jeez, this is definitely not a big enough pan. We're gonna add water, we're gonna add cheese. I just don't think there's enough room in here. So I'm gonna move it over to a pot and make a note to buy bigger pans. We're adding pasta water. I'm talking with my mouth full, sorry mom. We'll add this and we'll see. Oh yeah, this makes it more saucy, for sure. Now it tastes like vodka sauce. All right, I think next is my favorite part. Cheese. There comes the spice. My true best pasta dish is when it's a receptacle for just giving me cheese. So I'm gonna add all of this. You're not gonna judge me. One, two, three. Oh, wow. So we're gonna have to break that up. Am I crazy that this still doesn't seem like a lot of cheese to me? Don't answer that. I've been telling you you can't mess up pasta, but secretly in the back of my head, I've been like, you might mess up this pasta. Okay, time to plate it. Should I chop up the basil because it makes it look nice? Why not? I wish I liked basil. Basil makes everything seem so fancy. If you are offended by the fact that I don't love basil, what's the recipe I should do to fall in love with it? Tell me. You know, I hopefully, I hope that I've made someone feel better. Like, oh, that's how I cook. I can be less self-conscious about it because they sent a video camera to her house, so they must not think it's that terrible. I would never put it in this bowl if a video camera wasn't here. It would have been just me standing over this, listening to NSYNC, the best band, and eating this with a fork out of the pot. I'm pretty proud of this, unless I drop it on the floor. Mm. This is really, really good. Gigi Hadid. I think your, your pasta's worth the hype. It tastes so good, I would definitely make this again. This would be a great thing to make if you were having people over. I'm tired. Are you tired? <laughs> Thanks for coming on this journey with me. We laughed, we cried, we made pasta. If you wanna see me make more videos or you wanna tour inside my fridge, let me know down in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to The Spruce Eats.